Hello and welcome to the new video. Infill settings are one of those things most people don't spend much time thinking about. You pick one, set the percentage and move on. But the truth is your infill choice can have a big impact on how long your print takes, how much filament it uses and how strong the final part actually is. So I decided to test it properly. I printed 10 identical test blocks, 4 x 4 x 2 cm, using different infill patterns. I used the same filament, the same layer height, same wall count, same nozzle. The only thing that changed was the infill. Each was sliced at 15% infill. In this video I will walk you through what I learned, show which infill patterns were fastest, which used the least filament and which ones were the strongest. I will also tell you which ones I would actually recommend based on all those results, and which ones probably aren't worth it unless you have a very specific reason. Let's start with the print time. The fastest pattern in my test was lightning infill, which completed in just 17 minutes and 2 seconds. That's noticeably faster than the others. Second place went to Adaptive Cubic at 17 minutes and 59 seconds, and the third was Grid at 20 minutes and 13 seconds. Cubic and Zigzag came just behind that at a little over 20 minutes each. On the other end of the scale, the slowest infill by far was Honeycomb. It took 28 minutes and 31 seconds. That's more than 11 minutes longer than Lightning for the same model at the same settings. It also used the most filament by quite a, quite a bit, but I will get to that in a moment. So next, the weight. This tells us roughly how much filament was used and in some cases how dense or complex the pattern is. Again, lightning infill was the clear winner here, the lightest on the bunch at just 5.21 grams. That's less than half the weight of the heaviest one, Honeycomb, which came in at 11.27 grams. Second lightest was Adaptive Cubic at 8.35 grams, then Geroid at 9.56 grams, Grid at 9.66 and Cubic at 9.7 grams. Those are all fairly close. The heavier ones, like triangles, Archimedean cords and concentric, were all around 10 grams or more. Not huge differences, but definitely measurable. So based on that, the lightning infill is both the fastest and the lightest, but what about strength? I did basic strength testing on each print by applying pressure with my hands and seeing how much each could flex or resist breaking. Now, of course, this isn't a controlled lab test, but for real-world usage it tells us something. Geroid held up the best overall. It flexed under pressure instead of snapping and distributed stress evenly across the part. Cubic was also very solid, especially under vertical pressure, and was one of the better all-round options. Triangles were decent, better than grid, and much better than lightning or concentric. Lightning, as expected, was the weakest. It's not designed for strength, it's designed for saving time and filament. It printed fast and light, but the interior is sparse and unevenly supported. It's fine for decorative models or prototypes, but don't expect it to handle weight or impact. Adaptive Cubic was somewhere in between. It's stronger than Lightning, definitely more balanced and still fairly light, so it's a great option if you want to keep print time and filament use low while still getting decent performance. Honeycomb was interesting. It used the most filament and took the longest to print, but it didn't deliver top tier strength. It looked nice and felt solid, but it didn't outperform cubic or geroid in actual resistance to bending. So unless you specifically want that aesthetics or you are trying to match a specific mechanical pattern, it's probably not worth the extra time and weight. So what do I recommend? 
If you want the fastest print, with the least filament used and strength isn't important, go with Lightning. It's ideal for fast prototyping, visual models, cosplay parts or anything that won't be under load. If you want the strongest infill and don't mind longer print times or extra filament, go with Geroid. It's great for functional parts, brackets, tool mounts and anything that needs durability. If you want a balance, and honestly this is what I would recommend for most people, use Cubic. It's fast enough, strong enough and has a very consistent performance across different models and applications. Adaptive Cubic is also a great alternative if you want to cut time and weight while keeping decent strength. Grid and Zigzag are fine middle ground options. They are easy to print, not too heavy and they perform ok in most situations. Just don't expect the same strength as Cubic or Geroid. Concentric, Archimedian Quartz and Honeycomb all have specific use cases. Concentric gives even pressure on curved surfaces, but is weak structurally. Archimedian Quartz looks good in preview, but didn't stand out in performance. Honeycomb, as I said earlier, looks great but underperforms for the amount of time and filament it takes. So, in summary, Lightning is best for speed and weight, Geroid is best for strength, and Cubic is the best overall balance. The rest have their place, but most users can safely stick with one of those three and be happy. Let me know in the comments what your default infill is, and whether you have ever switched patterns just to save time or improve strength. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more practical 3D printing tests. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.